you've just managed to buy an RTX 2080 or maybe even a 2080 Ti selling a kidney at the black market and you're super happy with it well in a couple of months it will be just obsoleted because the new Ampere series with the RTX 3000 lineup is coming soon and it won't be cheap whatsoever. The third quarter of this really strange 2020 is coming in and with it the announcement of the RTX 3000 lineup. The Ampere series, this will be the name of uh, this new series and we have the renderings of the uh, stock cooler from Nvidia and it is a double stacked one, one for the GPU itself and one for the uh, power circuit because this GPU will suck up to 350 watts. Many full builds probably don't consume as much as this GPU. And this double stacked heatsink won't come cheap. The manufacturer cost is around uh, $150 just for the heatsink. And this means that the overall price will be probably higher than the already really expensive uh, top tier GPU. But we'll talk about the TDP in just a minute. Let's now talk about the specification of, of this monster of power. So, that as in hand, let's talk about the new Ampere series. Um, this new series is going to be faster and greater, as it should be, and the risk of having a new 12 pin connector on the GPU seems to be diffused for this series. But let's now talk about the raw performances. I will read some data that I just wrote. The RTX 3080 Ti should have 5376 CUDA cores, almost a thousand more than the uh, last gen top tier GPU, 2200 MHz frequency, uh, 12 GB of GDDR6X memory, 32 teraflops of calculating capacity, almost double the RTX 2080 Ti and it should be based on a 7 nanometer architecture just as Ryzen processors. Another small change that we will see in this series is the naming of the Titan GPU. It will now be called RTX 3090 and not Titan because we have the Titan XP, Titan V, Titan it's getting pretty confusing, so this naming should help a little bit. Let's now make some considerations about this new lineup. Uh, this won't be anything revolutionary because we've seen a really massive change last gen with the introduction of ray tracing, of course, as you all know for sure. And this new series so will be will just be more optimized more performant overall uh, sorry for the chair <laughs> uh, better GPU and better implementation of ray tracing probably and to stay aligned with the consoles of course uh, with the near mid-tier GPUs because we all know that the RTX 3080 Ti and more even more the RTX 3090 will smash console performance because it costs it will cost at least the double of a console so I hope it will but enough talking let me know what you think about this new Ampere series down in the comments if you're willing to buy a new GPU from this series and if yes which one because of course we'll start seeing we will see uh, GPUs from the RTX 3050 up to the 3090.